guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're here with Game Theory. This just got uploaded. It's titled, What Did You Stay Blind? This is for a game called Close Your Eyes. Never heard of it. I'm not sure if this is something coming up or what. And even I don't know the premise of this. So, might as well hop in and see where this goes. I'll link this video down below. You guys know the drill. So, here we go. Let's check what this theory is. The hell? A long corridor. What is this? What? Heck? What in the hell? Welcome to Game Theory! Hey. It usually tries to encourage you to look at the world with both your mind and your eyes wide open. But mm. not today, because mm. I'm talking about Close Your Eyes. Hands down the scariest, or if not the scariest, the most WTF indie the game hell? I played in 2018. Uh. Now, I've suffered through a lot of scary horror games that make you want to close oh, your eyes. Yeah. Like, this is actually the first one I've played where closing your eyes is an actual game mechanic. In fact, the first huh. thing that you see when loading the game is yes. an orientation you to the view laboratory in the year 2057 teaching you how to blink you learn to blink you learn to walk and then this happens oh, oh, no, 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 no. on the ceiling we're the presented hell? with a very clear mystery a code written in reverse wingdings 3 i need to oh, know yeah. what happened to everyone and that's that just the says? first few minutes of the game it doesn't get much less disturbing from there forcing Ugh. you through fields of human hands yes please take me on your magic journey Escapes and cities made from purple alien tongues. Oh what god! Is this game? Yeah. And if that wasn't you strange and creepy enough, all the while you're having oh, to fight god. against these guys. It's Heck. the puppet now. This is just like waiting for a theory, isn't it? Clearly, there's a story. <laughs> Ouch. A really interesting story to boot, but it's hidden mm -hmm. under layers upon layers of hallucinations, cryptic dialogue, disturbing visuals, and heavy symbolism. So today. I want to make sense out of the story of Close Your Eyes. Or at least piece huh. together the story beyond drugs, not even once. Now, a lot of the- Okay. Horror game. Uh, I'm gonna have to look this one up. I'm not sure if this is for Mac or just PC alone. Because I might do this. It does seem interesting. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll do it after the video. Moving on. Let's just see what he's got. Let's see what the story's behind this. The story is actually told to us in the game's <clears throat> opening minutes, but it's not until you've played through huh. the whole thing that any of this makes sense. As oh, part of the tutorial, we see a chart for a test subject. Cecily <laughs> Newman, part of Cicely. the view program. Sex and A, blood type Pretty sure NA, female. husk hmm. status, insufficient data, age, husk? four Wait. hours, height, five, husk? six, and Dallas. weight, 1,437 pounds? That is one heavy... Baby. The way or the game maybe a robot. This almost mm. makes it sound like Cecily is a monster. But the first time that we get a game over, Whoa. things start to make a little bit more sense. That body that we see on the floor during the game over screen isn't is? a human body. Cecily Newman is a robot. A robot huh. with no assigned sex, blood type, oh, yeah. an age of only four hours, and a weight of 1,437 pounds. So that explains that make mostly sense. everything that we see on the chart. But then what does husk status mean? In the opening sections of the game, we husk get the warning that husks kill. can kill and that if you're attacked by a husk, that you should cover your eyes, hence the game mechanic of closing your eyes. But it's not until halfway through the game that we're able to piece together what these Stretch Armstrong rejects want and how they're related to us. According to this diagram, the VIEW program designed a procedure called Cognitive Transfer, a process huh? that takes a human and then splits them into two parts. Their consciousness is saved into the entity's yielded essence storage, eyes, for short, yes. which is then installed into robot bodies like Cecily's. It's that classic sci-fi trope of a mind mind upload, a way to live forever. So then oh. what happens to the other half of the human? The discarded human body. Well, as we find uh, out, husk. the discarded human bodies, the husks, are then sent to Sector A2325 for testing and mutilation. That's right, ladies uh. and gentlemen, the husks that we- 
throughout the game aren't monsters at all. They're, they're not us. even evil. They're just the abandoned remnants of people. Remnants that want to reunite with the lost part of their consciousness by hunting down the host robots and taking the eyes back. In fact, we're told- Jeez. Who thought this was a good idea? I mean, you create monsters at the same time you're making people immortal. The fuck? I feel like this is like some sort of creepy pasta. I, I know there's one I was looking for eyes, but I don't remember which one. Ugh. Anyway that the husks were purposely made to look scary so that the humans would reject them. Quote, Why? they made us deformed so everyone would fear us. It's also clear that View's program was controversial, as we see protest signs claiming oh, yeah. that cognitive transfer is murder and that this whole thing is one big hmm. hoax. Which then leads to the question, what hmm. exactly is View? Is it a yeah, what corporation? Is, exactly. is it a secret government program? The game hmm. doesn't really tell us directly, but we do get hints. We find out that hmm. V stands Ricky. for Vitality and Identity Extraction for WWV. WWV? What? What's that? World War 5? It may seem ridiculous, eh, but that's maybe. what it appears to be. Remember, the game is set in the year 2057, 2057, and in one of the four possible endings of the game, the Husk ending, you attempt to free the Husks from the View facility, but as soon as you throw the gates open, you're met with this apocalyptic wasteland. Whoa. A world that's been ravaged by war. That might be part of the reason View wanted to develop a cognitive transfer program to begin with. If you can take the country's sense. people and implant their consciousnesses inside robots, bodies with no need for food or water, it would be possible for people to hide underground indefinitely to wait out the nuclear fallout. Makes There's still sense. one major character in the story that I haven't talked about. That, that dress-wearing robot oh, that you see her. at the start of the game. I'm gonna call her the witch. While the cognitive transfer like program one. seems to separate human test subjects into two groups, the mutilated husks and the host robots, the mm. witch seems to straddle a line between both those groups. She has yeah. a robotic body, and yet she seems to speak as one of the husks. Or <laughs> at least speaks for them. Like when she says, They made us deform. deform. So oh yeah, those us. Yeah. In one sequence, we see her commanding them like an army. And yet, she seems Jeez. to be on our side. Throughout the game, closing your eyes reveals clues sprinkled throughout the environment. Yeah. Those clues are coming from her. her. As she says, her. every time you close your eyes, I send these messages to help you. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. what? Or more act? Why? Who is the witch? During hmm. one of the more memorable and Real. trippier sequences in the game, the we follow a path through a field of hands. Human hands buried in the ground, the kind of hands that husks would have had prior to their mutilation, before hmm. seeing the witch hovering over a lake. In order to create a path to the witch, the player must retrieve two glowing, flaming essences from two statues. The statue on the right has the appearance of one of the host robots, mm -hmm. like the body the player inhabits at the beginning of the game. The statue on the left has a face that resembles the witch's face. By retrieving and uniting these two essences, the player opens up the path. These two hmm. statues and the flames that the player retrieves from each of them suggests the idea that an essence has been split across two bodies. The witch's body and a host robot body. It's also a so small wait, detail that's, that's easy to movie. overlook, hmm. but each one possesses one of the green glowing eyes. One holds oh. the right eye and the other holds the left eye. This split essence imagery starts hmm. to make even more sense when you consider it in the context of one of the game's endings. The oh. recollection ending. In this ending, as the facility is on the verge of exploding, the player comes across the witch, trapped underneath some falling debris. By choosing this ending, you choose to give the witch your eyes. We can actually confirm hmm? that this is what's happening. Huh? we briefly catch a glimpse of an abandoned husk near the oh. witch. At this point in the game, we've been captured Jeez. by a husk and her eyes have been stolen. By mm. giving the witch our eyes, the player implants their consciousness into her. We, as the okay. witch, then choose to end our life by jumping into the abyss to escape the exploding view facility. The game ends with mm. the uplifting message of, you opened your eyes. eyes? What's what? interesting is that this ending is called the recollection ending. Recollection, recollection. suggests the mm. idea of being reunited with your old memories, not I discovering... Guess? New. So what is being huh. recalled through this ending? Well, it's simply the fact that you mm -hmm. are the witch. Or, to be more accurate, huh. that you're carrying part of the witch's consciousness. That's why the subtitle to this ending is, You Opened Your Eyes. You remembered who you once were. Cecily Newman is the true identity of the witch. This is further supported huh. by a lot of easy-to-overlook details throughout the rest of the game. First, like we know that... 
Mike has two eyes. Near the end of the game, she says, Give me back my, my other, other eye. eye. Which suggests that her consciousness has been split into two halves that she's trying to reunite. Half lies uh. with the witch, and the other half lies with the player as the witch tries to guide him through a trail of breadcrumbs so she can be reunited with her other eye. This all You know, that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I know there was another game like this. Like, you're part of the villain itself. Uh, what was it? Spec Ops The Line? Uh, maybe, I don't know, but it's pretty crafty if you ask me. So, hmm. Again, I'm gonna have to look this up and see if it's still available for Mac, you know? Oh, let's keep going. Explains the imagery we saw earlier in the dream sequence, with one huh. host robot statue and one witch statue, each containing half of a fiery essence. They and when do they're look reunited, similar. fiery eyed husk rises out of the wall, oh. a completed being. But the secret connection hmm. between us and the witch is held in the very opening moments of the game. See what? how there's a single husk here with the view branded hmm. witch hovering over top of it? As we oh, approach, God. the pro glitches out oh, and Jesus. binary code flashes up. If you translate that binary string into regular How text, do do that? it reads I can't, can't see. see. Basically the powers that be don't want us to face the oh, truth. Hey, Our Ooh. eyes were ripped out and out of mm. that you created the witch. As soon as we mm. start to be exposed to that truth, it causes the system to collapse. We also see this imagery of a lone husk kneeling on the ground mm. appear at another moment in the game, right oh. before the recollection ending, where we oh, physically yeah. must touch the lone husk surrounded by the devastated war-torn world Jesus. to move the game forward. In in the process, we've symbolically reconnected with ourselves before we cut back into the perspective now of the witch. We remember in a symbolic way what we once were huh. and what we lost. And the pain of those recollected memories is what causes us to jump off the platform. The horrible truth of this game is evident. The world is ruined. Even if you manage to escape the view facility, there's nothing to escape to. Right at the game's end. We get a glimpse of what the witch might have been trying to escape to. We see a vision mm. of a meadow outside of the facility, but the game doesn't end there. We snap back into the reality of the view facility <laughs> on the verge of destruction as a countdown timer displays the seconds remaining. We can rush to join the husks and free them from the facility, or we can reconnect with the witch, escaping down into the abyss. There is a third option, however. Oh? We can simply wait and watch the seconds tick down until at last the explodes, killing everyone, the witch, and us. The game mm. calls this the best ending. ending. Everyone closed their eyes. It seems Hell? like a grim note to end on, but True. in a way, it seems like it might truly be the best ending. The husks How are able so? to find release in death rather than having their eyes open to the terrifying reality of a mm. ruined apocalyptic world. Cecily the witch is able to rest forever, not having to recollect the painful memories of her own creation, and the player can rest, mm. knowing that the horrors of the view facility have all been completely destroyed. Mm. Normally, we think mm. about opening our eyes as a good thing. We want to seek knowledge and understanding. We want mm. to be enlightened about the world around us. We want to know the truth. And the game starts itself with a very clear mystery. That code on <laughs> the ceiling saying, I need to know what happened to everyone. However, in oh, close yeah. your eyes, mm. the best ending is the one in which everyone keeps their eyes closed. As the adage goes, ignorance is bliss. And well, it's not an sense. adage I often agree with. When it comes to a hopeless <laughs> situation in a permanently ruined world, perhaps it is truly best to remain in the dark to the misery and horrors that exist outside. Perhaps the best thing you can do in those sorts of situations is exactly what the game's title tells you. Close, Close your, your eyes. And that is perhaps the scariest part of this whole game. But hey, Amen. that's just a theory. A <laughs> game theory. Thanks for watching. No problem. So a bunch of purple mm. octopus creatures roaming around. It seems like they might be the owners or creators of View, as evidenced by them standing over the lone husk at the beginning of the game and wandering Maybe. around the View facility right before the end of the game. But I'm not mm. super clear on it. I think they might have been the things eh. that started World War Five. Not 100% clear. Who knows? Anyway, play mm. the game. It is free and it's totally worth your time. And then tell mm. me what you think in the comments below. Oh, by the way, if you're still in the mood Thanks. for depressing indie game theories, well then open your eyes to the box oh. on the left where you'll watch the depressing truth oh yeah find of, of isaac of isaac it's one of my all-time favorite mm. theories the box on the right means it's what youtube has determined is the best video for you based on your watch habits <laughs> i have no idea what yeah. it is so if it's good that oh uh, it's, for me it's the Fortnite. anyway <clears throat> Whew, there you go so it turns out you're part of the witch and being ignorant it's the best ending in this case huh.
Yeah, I'm not really sure myself, but we're always looking for the truth sometimes. I mean, hell, Persona 4 is always reaching out for the truth, which ironically is actually one of the Battlestone songs. The battle thing, really. Hmm. Reach out for the truth of my life, sick and sick. You know, that? Just look it up, you'll find out. <laughs> so, what do you think? You think his theory holds up that we're part of the witch and, well, sometimes ignorance is bliss? Let me know in the comments, okay? Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys.